Yo, what up, everybody? It's SBX, and right now I want to um, talk about being in the friend zone. Why, you know, it sucks, and then you can learn by being in the friend zone. So everybody knows, you know, being in the friend zone sucks ass, of course. And you know, you feel like you did your best that you could to persuade this person to 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 love you and convince them to be in a relationship with you. But however. Destiny didn't really knock at your doorstep saying, you know what? You got your love. Thank you for, you know, choosing love and have a nice day. No, instead, it was delayed and your love is lost somewhere out of nowhere. Not been found and never been discovered. So, yeah, that's how, you know, the, the, the whole fundamentals of love is. So, pretty much, I would say that, uh, yeah, um, you let's say you find... Uh, somebody that you are attracted to and they have everything that you ever dream of a person whether it's their looks or their personality or they um, or their logic excuse me and uh, they quite they don't quite seem to to understand that they have feelings for you but yet you try to have a best way to express your feelings so that show on MTV Friend Zone is a right exp example of why it's complicated to fall in love with somebody that who don't really quite quite get the fact that you're in love with them. So yeah, you see people fall in love with their best friends and a coworker or whomever. You you know you just want to take their friendship to to the grave and build a relationship. Like by resurrecting it, resurrecting the friendship and turning it to a relationship where, you know, for your love life, it can, you know, you, you can shine. So <clears throat> I would say that, you know, everybody isn't really built for convincing their um, crush that, you know, well, I want to be in a relationship with you. Would you be my boyfriend or be my girlfriend? So, you know, some people can't just say, you know, say that type of uh, that type of shit. But instead, they try to do is, you know, observe the person, get to know this person, or just have, you know, a steady thought of what to say about this person and having the right time to express their feelings to this person but yes yeah, it, it gets complicated and typical throughout the fact that you know you, your, your thought process is saying you know what if you know this person don't like me or you know what if he or he or he, he or she doesn't uh feel the same way that i do and that your self-esteem is uh lower than a motherfucker but um <clears throat> excuse me so i would say yeah uh, I feel like to be as a person, be yourself. Um, don't change the fact about who you are. If you do, then you fucked. It ain't. I mean, I'm not saying change completely who you are. I'm just saying like <coughs> grow a little bit of confidence into yourself and to this love life. You know, this is for everybody who are down with their luck you know i feel like okay being confident and um being real with you and others will attract the the, the feeling for uh for many men and females out there who could be po could possibly be single but um i feel that as as an individual in order to fall in love, fall in love again or find love you have to love yourself first and loving anybody else it doesn't make any sense if you don't love somebody you don't love yourself but yet you give love to other people that's not how this whole um this whole function goes and how this how how love can rotate like that so i feel like the best thing to do if you have your self-esteem issue and you feel like you don't love yourself or don't know how to, to express how to love somebody, but yet you do have that feeling in your heart and in your soul. The best thing to do is just work about yourself, work with your confidence, and working on loving yourself. And then in the end, and if you feel like you know you made a a great improvement, 
and progress about your 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 your, your self esteem and your actions and your and, and your personality and your mojo and a, anything of that nature, then it could be a good possibility that you know somebody will make that make it seem like oh it's attractive and you know cool and everything of that anything of that nature. So, um, like about that friend zone shit, if he tries your best to do whatever, <coughs> excuse me, if you do whatever you could do just to make that person satisfied, but yet you, but you know, this whole operation had failed, then, hey, that means this person is, this is never been meant to be. This person may not see what you see in them. Don't really feel like, okay, well, maybe, maybe this person don't seem like you're attracted if not or you if you don't have nothing much more in common with that person or anything of that nature so you know as i said just you know pick your balls up pick your tits and try again i'm telling you people you know you got you got to be confident strong and independent you know don't don't feel like okay being single forever will, will be your destiny only if you make that happen only if you don't you know <clears throat> open your mouth and you know explore new things in life and anything of that nature then um then that's when you stay single forever so also the fact that you have to learn it the hard way trust me i i have but um you know if you feel like you know you're not ready to find love yet then that's cool but I mean, I'm just saying, whenever you feel like you want to fall in love again, and if you feel like you really have some guy or girl caught your eye, then, you know, <clears throat> do the best you can. Take baby steps at a time. That's how life goes on like that. But if, it's, if it goes fast like that, then, hey, that's cool. I applaud you. You're lucky. You're, you're considered um, worthy enough to, to fall in love with that person. And anything that uh, can make your love life even better. So, what can I say about friend zone? Yeah, it sucks. But being in that friend zone, you can learn a lot and think about the things you can try to uh, accomplish by being in the friend zone and trying different steps of either getting out or try something new and find somebody else you can fall in love with you know just you know take that as a consideration I, I, that's what I'm trying to say <clears throat> you know I had to learn it that hallway too yeah I hate being in the friend zone too but yeah I still appreciate the fact that you know I still have somebody who loves me as a friend than just diss me and play me and just being a bitch and being sedity and being stuck on being an asshole and 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 that's and that's and that but that's how life goes on like that you live you learn that's it so everybody take my words as consideration if you want to be a cocky asshole and feel like you know what's best then please enlighten me and from there sbx comment subscribe all that shit peace out and god